Hi guys, Felicia White here and today I'm continuing my series on the book The Power by Rhonda Byrne and we are on part 16 and it starts with life follows you. Absolutely everything you experience in your life is a result of what you have given out in your thoughts and feelings, whether you realize you have given them or not. Life is not happening to you, life is following you. Your destiny is in your hands. Whatever you think, whatever you feel will decide your life. Everything in life is presented to you for you to choose what you love. Life is a catalog, and you are the one who chooses what you love from the catalog. But you, are you choosing the things you love, or are you too busy judging and labeling the bad things? If your life is far from wonderful, then you've inadvertently been labeling all the bad things. You've allowed the things you think are bad to distract you from the purpose of your life. Because the purpose of your life is to love. The purpose of your life is joy. The purpose of your life is to choose the things you love and turn away from the things you don't love so you don't choose them. Choose what you love. When you see your dream car go whizzing down the street, life is presenting that car to you. How you feel when you see your dream car is everything. Because if you choose to feel nothing but love for that car, you are bringing your dream car to you. But if you feel envy or jealousy because someone else is driving your dream car, you just gonged yourself out of having your dream car. Life presented the car to you so you could choose, and you choose it by feeling love. Do you see that it doesn't matter whether someone else has something and you don't? Life is presenting everything to you, and if you feel love for it, you are bringing the same thing to you. That's the, uh, when I talk about the feeling of abundance, that's the abundance mindset. You don't feel uh, env envy or jealousy. You really should bless and love others when you see something that they have that you want. So um, I will continue. When you see a happy, cuppy, happy couple madly in love and you desperately want a partner in your life, life is presenting the happy couple to you for you to choose. But if you feel sad or lonely when you see the happy couple, you just gave out negativity and in effect said, I want to be sad and lonely. <laughs> Sorry about the boat that just went buzzing by, but um, you know, that's life here at the lake. So anyways, you have to give love for what you want. If you are overweight and you're walking down the street and a person with a perfect body passes you by, how do you feel? Life is presenting the great body to you for you to choose, and so if you feel bad because you don't have that body, you just said, I don't want a body like that. I want the overweight body I have. If you are struggling with some kind of disease and you are surrounded by healthy people, how do you feel? Life is presenting healthy people to you so you can choose health, and so when you feel love for the health around you more than you feel bad about a lack of health, you are choosing health for yourself. When you feel good about anything any person has, you are bringing it to you. When you feel good about the success of another person, the happiness of another person, or all the good things anyone else has, you are choosing those things from the catalog of life, and you are bringing them to yourself. If you meet someone who has qualities you wish you had, love those qualities, and feel good about those qualities in that person, and you are bringing those qualities to yourself. If someone is smart, beautiful, or talented, love those qualities and you choose those things for you. If you want to become a parent and you've been trying for a long time, then give love and feel good every single time you see a parent with a child. If you feel depressed when you see children because you don't have a child, then you are repelling and pushing children away from you. Life is presenting children to you each time you see them so you can choose. When you're playing a sport and another person wins, when a work colleague tells you that they got a pay raise, when someone wins the lottery, when a, win, when a friend tells you that their spouse gave them a surprise gift of a weekend away, or that they bought a beautiful new house, or that, or that their child won a scholarship, you should be as excited as they are. You should be as excited and happy as though it happened to you. Because then you are saying yes to it. Then you are giving love to it and you are bringing it to you. When you see your dream car, a happy couple, the perfect body, children, great qualities in a person, or whatever it is you want, it means that you are on the same frequency as those things. Be excited because your excitement is choosing it. Everything in life is presenting itself to you so you can choose what you love and what you don't love. But only love 
brings what you want to you. Life's catalog contains many things you don't love, so don't choose them by giving bad feelings. Judge another person and think they're bad and you bring negativity to you. Feel envious or jealous of something another person has and you bring negativity to you while pushing away the very thing you want with a mighty force. Only love brings what you want to you. So that concludes The Power by Rhonda Byrne, part 16. Go ahead and like, share, and comment below and click the link in the blog post below to grab your copy of The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.